is up guys? So we're uh, about to do something exciting. I've been actually waiting to do this for a long time. Um, I like the IS300 factory steering wheel. However, I prefer a upgrade in steering wheel for a more comfortable and uh, drift style uh, setup. So I ordered an NRG wheel and uh, I just got here today and we're about to install that. So yeah, so right here I got the steering wheel from amazon.com and uh you know it took pretty quick to get here it was less than five days this is the suede style nrg wheel it's the deep dish right there man this thing looks clean packaging is always immaculate it's freaking that's good stuff thank you guys thank you nrg um so i also did get a steering wheel hub for the is 300 you're gonna need one of those I'm um, actually cheaped out on it for now to kind of try it out. But uh, what we have is a Koyo Star, I believe. It's like an off brand, but uh, I read the reviews, it's pretty decent. And honestly guys, the quality isn't that bad. I, uh, I've had a few of the NRG ones and uh, this one feels pretty similar. Like it's good quality, uh, it's quality made um, and it's, it has some weight to it and all that. You can just tell it's quality made. Um, and it's only 50 bucks, so I'll put a link in the description of both of these in the bottom and uh, you guys can check it out. Uh, this wheel was 106 bucks um, and it feels good, it feels solid, you know, it's not cheap. Uh, NRG makes some pretty good wheels and uh, they're pretty known. I was going to get a, a Sparco steering wheel and uh, I was actually looking at uh, Street Euro with their carbon fiber wheel. I think those look sick but I didn't want to drop three, 300 bucks on it, so I just stuck with this for now. Um, there's always room to upgrade, upgrade in the future, but uh, this is gonna give us a good, comfortable feel, especially when you're drifting, so uh, that's what we got so far for that, so. All right guys, so first step's gonna be make sure your wheel's straight, like completely flush, as flush as possible, and uh, your wheels are straight outside. Move your seat back as far as you can because it's gonna get tight in here, and then, uh, yeah, it's gonna give you enough room to work on it. And then also, lower your steering wheel all the way, I believe. I think mine's already low, so you can do that without the power. And then disconnect the battery, or else you're gonna be stuck like that. And you wanna freaking turn your car on before you uh, unplug it, so. Yeah, make sure your steering wheel is straight first and your seats are good. And then unplug your battery. So next step after the steering wheel straight, the seat's moved and the steering is all the way down, the whole column. Um, then you're gonna take off these two bolts up in here. There's one, and then on the opposite side, there's the other one. So take those two off. bolts that were on the side was a T30 I believe so it's gonna be a T30 Torx bolt um, right here so actually uh, the nuts didn't come out all the way so I had to get that out with the needle nose plier um, it's kind of jammed in there and wedged so, so so you might have to pull it out with uh, uh, a needle nose plier so those bolts just stay in there and uh, you just kind of wiggle it out pull it out so uh, next step this is supposed to be a 19 millimeter So I try not to unbolt it all the way because, uh, for example, sometimes these wheels are hard to get off and basically I want to leave one nut on so when I pull it off the steering wheel doesn't fly out and hit me in the face. So I leave it on and then see this, 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 and there you go. The nut is holding it in. So once you hear it pop off, you can take the 19 millimeter nut off like that, uh, put that to the side, and the steering wheel comes right off. You gotta make sure you take this right here off as well. I believe this is the horn or something, relay, whatever you call it. Um, with a Phillips, there's two Phillips screws. 
one right there through the hole and one right there. And basically this comes off after that and then you thread the airbag harness through there. Thread this through here also or you might be able to unplug it, whatever. But yeah, I'm just gonna thread these both through there. Steering wheel comes off and yeah, we're basically uh, almost done with taking this off and uh, we're gonna install the NRG in a second. Come to this problem. Um, a lot of people actually delete this right here and they're held in by Phillips screws. But first, you wanna take off this cover right here. So take off the Phillips screw here, here, and I believe there's one down here somewhere. Uh, yeah, there is one down here. So you're gonna take those Phillips screws off, pop this black piece off, and then we're gonna have access to taking that off as well, so. So there's one, two, three, and four bolts. Um, four fill ups. Oh crap. So you want to get those off. Man. It's kind of a smaller uh, fill up. And then this piece comes off right here. And then basically you unplug it. And then what you're going to do is you're going to flip this open like that and basically squeeze down on this tab. And then it just comes right out. So. Um, what I'm gonna do with this is I'm actually gonna it's gonna be it's gonna be covered with the steering wheel hub cover But uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna zip tie these so they're more clean and not just dangling around It doesn't really matter. It's up to you um, I just like to keep it clean and know that it's uh, out of the way another thing another thing I'm thinking about doing is I'm gonna wrap the steering wheel hub covers. Maybe um, I'm not really sure yet uh, So we'll see if I decide to wrap these I would like it to be carbon fiber because I didn't get the carbon fiber steering wheel, but um, I don't know yet. It's going to be like a gloss carbon fiber, so we'll see if I decide to do that. I kind of like the matte black because it matches the steering wheel more, but maybe if I get a new steering wheel in the future, I'll decide to wrap these, but for now, I might just throw a sticker on here and uh, call it good, but yeah, we will see. I actually bought a cheaper hub, I'll show you guys that. So the hub I got is actually not an NRG. I wanted to try this brand out, it's on Amazon. I'll put a link in the description below. This is a Koyo Star, uh, it's a hub for Toyota, but I'm assuming it works because Toyota, Lexus, Toyota and Lexus, whatever. Um, basically the same thing. So we're gonna try this Koyo Star hub assembly adapter and uh, hopefully this works. This is gonna bolt onto the steering wheel right there and um, the steering wheel is gonna bolt onto this. So it's compatible with any six bolt steering wheel, so mostly all of them. Um, it's gonna hopefully work. I actually have a cheap quick release as well, but the problem with the hubs and the quick release is uh, what's known is uh, they come too close to you when you're sitting in the seat. So if you put this on in a quick release, it's going to extend it out farther. So the steering wheel is going to sit closer to your chest. And uh, I didn't want that. So I might just do a non quick release depending on how far it actually pops out because I'm a shorter guy and uh, I have to sit pretty close to the steering wheel in order for me to feel comfortable. So, so I actually did decide to put a little bit of grease in here. Just try and get this as even as possible. Don't force this stuff, guys. This stuff just slide right in. The better the grease, the easier it slides right in, so. All right, so you get the uh, 19 millimeter nut, put it on. And then I'm thinking about putting the covers back on right now to see how it looks. All right, guys, so I got the steering wheel installed and I gotta say it looks a lot better. It feels a lot better and I'm digging it guys. So I actually did went ahead and carbon fiber wrapped the top of this uh, steering wheel hub. And honestly guys, it looks good, except I fucked it up. So I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna rip it off and then redo it. But um, I actually like how it looks when it's all together. 
the carbon fiber is glossy. Uh, steering wheel looks great and I absolutely love how it feels. Um, it's not actually as small as I thought it would be, but it's still pretty freaking cool. I mean, it's still nice and the grip is better, it's stable. I like it a lot. Um, installing it super easy, guys. Just reverse the procedure and uh, yeah, you'll be good after that. So that's basically how you do the steering wheel um, install. And uh, yeah, guys, I'm gonna leave it at that. So there's a lot of stuff we gotta work on versus um, actually learning how to wrap. And uh, you know, if you learn how to wrap, you can do a lot with it. But other than that, the steering wheel looks sick. I'm happy. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you like it, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe, like, share, do whatever. Um, I'm going to continue this on the next video and uh, get some shots of it and a review on it later sometime this week. So stay tuned, guys, and peace out. See you guys in the next one.